let's let's talk a little bit about the types of lines we're dealing with now. Today we're using a bow line, we're using a spring line, we're using a stern or aft line, and we're also using a breast line. Okay, so let's let's start out with the bow line, and why don't you tell us about it and exactly what it's supposed to do and why it does it and so forth. Okay, okay. well the bow line, Lenny, this line that I have my hand on now, is designed to secure the boat to the dock and keep it from riding backwards or aft. In addition, we have thrown the line around the post here with a called clothes. We'll demonstrate that a little later on when we're talking about piling. If you're going to tie up for any length of time, I always recommend that after throwing your hitch uh, around the piling, you also put in a half hitch mm -hmm. to secure the uh, end of the line so that somebody might not just come along and give it a jerk and all of a sudden break it. And now a half hitch, is, half hitch is one of the most popular of all the knots, isn't it? In fact, we're going to talk about three knots today. We'll talk about the uh, clove hitch on the post. We're going to talk about the half hitch that's used for docking, and then we'll talk about a bowling uh, which is probably one of the most versatile knots. Okay, we're going to talk about two kinds of bowlings. Actually, we're going to talk about standing bowling. We're also going to talk about the anchor bowl. That's right. Okay, which is a little twist on the original bowling. Right? Let's show the folks how to take take a hitch. Go ahead. First thing we'll do is undo the one we've had here. Pull the boat. You need to know that the line coming away from the post is the standing portion of this, and we're going to take the better end and drop it over the line running to the boat, reach down in between the post, under, and grab the bitter end and pull it through, and then just take the line back over again. Reach back through the loop, grab the bitter end, and pull it in, and there you have a hitch. There you have a standard half hitch. Standard half hitch. Okay, let's move on down now, and we'll start talking about the spring line, okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, here we are now at the most important of all the lines that we use for docking, and that is the spring line. Now, spring lines are, uh, its primary purpose is to keep the vessel in position. We have uh, two kinds of spring lines. We have a fore spring line or bow line, and we also have an aft spring line. Uh, why, by, but let's talk about that for a minute. How do we designate what's a bow line, bow spring, and what's an aft spring? Well, a bow spring runs to the bow of the boat. Okay. And from the bow of the boat will come aft and attach to the dock. So it's fixed. the direction that the line is coming from. Absolutely. Okay, which determines what kind of a line it is. That's right. right. And it's also because of that that you can keep the boat from moving forward. Okay. Now, we're using an extraordinarily long line here. Why do we use a long spring line? Well, I always recommend that your uh, spring line be at least the length of your boat. And the reason for that is that when you run one on the bow, you may end up tying up at a dock that doesn't have a tie-off cleat or a piling, except at the after end of the boat.